Here to see the doctor? He does love to be in the papers. They're right on in. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off. I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of... Uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? I'm not sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press pulse as the Bobbies did. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Mind the closing doors, please. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. Oh, so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed Do into the lab. Turn down the heat on the rominating reaction heat until time. you've noted heat the temperature curve. I need to determine the temperature. I wonder if there's a way around it. You can't deny it. Drop the temperature curve. Pop it in the new bag. turning off that dangerous steam, if that is indeed what I did.
there have better be neatly labeled samples of the fog the next time I come down there. Just get a workout beaker, stick it in the fog, stopper it, tape the stopper, and label it. somewhere, isn't there? Well, I guess this is the latest test formula. Well, I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drive the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. I feel rather brilliant right now. threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here who says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. D of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. <laughs> I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath poured into the cup of his anger. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into Sorry. the cup of his anger.
battery of tests done on the latest isomer. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the pneumatic? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Panker's bridge club. They'll do a better job than you people. Please don't struggle. This won't hurt a bit. Look, it's not you, it's me. Was that supposed to be ironic? Sergeant! Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. <laughs> Now, where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? Is it hello? I wonder if he has a secret lair. It's just the sort who would. Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil had better be down here, or I shall be cross. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? Thank you. 
And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. I'm gonna drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's gonna be tediously slow going. go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? Me. Oh, that smells awful. This is where they flush the chemicals. Rain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. If I don't mind pausing in the river, I can't let anything's alive in it now. Ah. A hatch. Lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life. letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? Do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad? While you were living in our house? In my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Mm. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? A kiss and all? What if I went back and said, oh, yes, yes, I'll take you, and they lived happily ever after? No! A girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees, and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again.
Flames. Yeah, can I use this? No. Start Flames. It is best to enjoy the show of the cool Snug as a bug on a drug. Lovely day for it. May I see your letter of transit, please? Welcome to the parade, sir. And may I say you've arrived not a moment too soon. What do you mean, Constable? A word to the efficient is sufficient, sir. If you catch my drift. I would not count on this bridge remaining operational in the near future. Nudge, nudge, smirk, smirk. Say no more, say no more. Bit late to work, are we? I don't like trains, Arthur. Are you joking? You love trains. Do you remember when we went to Plymouth on that train? You didn't want to get off. That was in 1941. Yeah, it must have been. I, I... I... I don't want you to go to Germany. You think I want to go? I don't know where we're going, I don't know what they're going to do with us there, and who knows if we're ever really coming back. But I don't have much of a bloody choice, do I? Who would talk to me when you're gone? Dad talks to you. Well, no, I suppose he doesn't really. But he does love you. I believe you, Arthur. He's just really rubbish at showing it. Ah, the parade. Just like I pictured it. Strange to be back here. How long ago was it I used to just trundle off to work every day, right around here? Now I just need to get into the broadcast tower so I can get into Appleholm Station and find the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. Institute. I bought some trousers there. Bloody expensive. Two. If I remember correctly, they've got a hatch in their basement. Good thing Sally taught me to be nosy. Who knows when I might need to get to a bed. I should see if I can get down there. dare he cancel on me? I don't care if he's double booked. He was nothing before I taught him how to walk. Uh, I know. I, I know how to model. Sorry, love. Tits ruin the drape. Find me a new male model. Too sweet. That was fast. Hmm. Right height. Right build. Bit tan for my taste. You're new, aren't you? Never mind. A Quintin scent? You're probably not hopeless. I just hope to God you can strut. Go downstairs and ask Nigel what to do. I'm going to have to do this stupid fashion show to get it, aren't I? Maybe the models can tell me how not to make a complete fool of myself up there. I could take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. Excuse me. So sorry to bother, but I... Fuck! My pants ripped! Davy will kill me. You wouldn't have a sewing kit. I could take a few more of 
of these and I wouldn't be a downer anymore. I hope you like this sort of thing. Thanks, Azil. Now the whole crowd won't have to see my knickers. I'm sort of... new. Got any advice? Try fierce, I'm watching you move. smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. You seem not entirely delighted? Stage fright. The last time I tripped on the catwalk, Davy locked me in a fucking closet for three days. I could use a shot of whiskey, but all we have in this wretched place are drugs. Thank God. Can you believe he made me tape up my tits? Like that girl who played Dorothy in that old movie about the shoes. Oh, that helps. I'll let you in on a little modeling secret. I tossed the crowd a bouquet. They love that. All those lads want to be brides, but it's not gonna happen, is it? weather. You look like a ghost. You are the one, aren't you? I'm a bit fucked up. But Candyman said it was a Sally special, but, but he lied. I'd kill several innocent people for a flash. Do you know any innocent people? I don't either. You're a lifesaver. Uh, any advice for the catwalk? Do a cheeky little bang bang gesture. They love that. restless, dearie. Go out there and fucking wow them. Just strut to the spots marked with X and show yourself off. And quickly, we'll get going then. You are capable of walking ten feet, aren't you? Oh, and whatever you do, don't fuck up. Okay, and on your mark, and work it. Be fierce, Arthur. Be fierce. I'm not here to see this. I'm fierce. I'm the fiercest. I'm not sure I'm sexy enough for my shirt. How high can the headlights go? Hopeless. You're utterly sung charisma. I'm not surprised you're homeless. Say, Mr. Hackney, it's a bit late and I sort of live on the other side of town. Would it be too much trouble? I suppose you did do me a favour. Here, get some beauty sleep. Not that it'll help. Thank <laughs> you. 
with the minimum of fuss. Right as rain, right as rain. They seem to be a lot more serious about the plague here. They must be spreading fast. Not a pleasant thought. Let's get a rest to the land. I'm glad I'm not a Bobby if that's how well they're taking care of Bobby Poppers these days. I got a new compliment machine. It's so clever. Time for the boys in the Oh dear. Now I'm extremely glad I'm not a Bobby. You won't get away. these poppers are popping out constables. It's sloppy of them to leave all the works exposed like that. What if someone were to have an unfortunate accident and break things? force seems to be out in... That's the guilty uh, bugger! Right. I better find a way to turn these off. If I want to get through that gate, I'm cooked. rather well maintained. I wonder if I can change that. Brilliant. I don't think that's working anymore. Oh dear, that's not working anymore either. Things have come to a pass indeed. There. 
All that bother. And I don't even have to see why you can't unquarantine the pie shop. Cook is beside herself. My dear lady, if we lift the quarantine gate on the pie shop for you, we'd have to lift every quarantine gate for anybody. No, you wouldn't. I'm not anybody, am I? You perish the thought, madam. You can just do it for me. I'm afraid we actually can't. Our quarantine control grid needs uh, a framistat. We've ordered a new one from the Department of Scientific Research. I'm throwing a dinner on Friday. I expect you to get your frammy whatever and unquarantine the pie shop, or I shall have to explain to the Minister of Health why we have no pie.